M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Bofeng UV9R Plus. Now I got this for under four pound, there was a deal on Timu, but anyway, it didn't come with the programming cable, so I've ordered that. It was only about five pound, you can see it. It's one of these screw-in types here, and there's the Bofeng logo, and we're gonna just see if we can program it using Chirrup. So there it is there, turned on. It's, it's, it's a classic Bofeng, what, what do I like about it? It's a very solid feeling device. That it's not USB-C charging, so yeah, it's a little bit out of date with what, you know, what people are expecting these days, but for four pound, I don't mind. And nice, nice solid feeling knobs, torch, emergency button, has broadcast radio, everything you'd want from a, a four pound radio. Programmable buttons, PTT, and it's two meters and 70 dual band. I like it. But anyway, we're going to program it with Chirp. So let's take off this screw here. Now, a, a, a spare screw did come in the pack with the cable. So that's good. And even we've got the cover there. And that's what it looks like. So we we'll just put this here. I've seen these before. Let's get it the right way around. Always helps. So the tab goes in the top. Like so. And then we'll pop the screw back in. See if the big screw goes in, because the, the original cover has quite a big screw. So, uh, yeah, I think it might. Actually, no. That's why they give you a spare screw, which is a lot smaller. Get that one in there. Good that it's magnetic. Anyway, that's, that's a plus. Get the, I should use a, I know a pointy screwdriver, but I'm using a flat one just to make life awkward for myself. Like so, and then we'll move on to the PC, but I'll just quickly plug it into my PC connector. What I tend to do with my PC connector is I have a, like an extension for it, so I don't have to keep reaching over you know, to it. So all I do is you look here, this goes to a USB connector, it's a lot easier, and you could buy a multiple one, I suppose. Like that, you heard the noise, and I'll show you what appears on my PC. You just go right click, device manager. There you go, and it comes up USB serial CH340. It took a couple of times, but it did automatically download the driver, but you'll be able to get one from Chirp anyway, and try Miklor, M-I-K-L-O-R he would have the driver as well. Moving on to programming. Okay, we're at the radio. We've got Chirp downloaded. I'll put a link in here. Just click that and run this XE and you'll end up with this. Then go to radio, download from radio, and you need to select your port, which we just saw. Drop down there, COM port five. Select Bofang, or it of course does several other radios. Thank you very much to Chirp. And then model, I've chosen UV9R and that seems to work and then just click OK. You get the message, making sure the radio is turned on, cable connected, that you've made a backup and click OK. And it will close now. I have already added some items to this software. <coughs> so we'll let that download. And it does work great. On the actual radio, you don't see any changes to the screen when it's doing that. So there's some here. We'll add a couple of names if we move this across. Just click it and drag it. Look for name. So at the top there, that'll be GB3BC. <coughs> then you've got gb 3WR, that's my hubnet node. Now you do have to connect Bofungs to software to get the names in. GB3FI, that's GB3ZB. There's a few. Uh, and then we just send that back to the radio. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Um, Let's add one, so we go here, we'll add, double click on number six, one, four, five, dot, 500, let's put. Just put uh, two meters for now. 
as a name. You can add the tone squelch. I tend to use tone. Then say for a two meter, you'd choose 94.8. For a 70 sems, you tend to do 77 hertz. So anyway, 94.8, that's what opens the repeater. We don't need tone squelch. To me, that's more of a receive thing. Uh, just leave that open, and then you can put in your offset. So if you know if there was a, a two meter repeater, let's have a look here. You'd have an offset of minus. There you go, minus and plus. Then 600 you'd put here. If it's 70 sems, you'd put. Let's go down here. Look plus, drop down and 7600, you can even select the power here, and a comment, I'm not sure where the comment would go, let's just put hello, I don't actually know what that would do. Um, then go to settings, Obviously, lots and lots of settings here. Now, can we tick that, or look, tick dual watch, beep, I like the beep, backlight timeout, only 10, battery saver squelch level, so each thing you click is giving you a drop down. LED color, blue, orange, purple. I think it's only orange, purple on this set. But anyway, should we just set it to blue and see if it actually comes up with blue? That'll be interesting. Okay, I'll set them all to blue. Advanced settings, reset menus, all menus, broadcast FM, yeah, we want that and that works fine. Everything on this radio works good, in my opinion, for a budget radio. A lot of people say no, but I, nah, it works fine to me. Uh, work mode. So VFO memory mode display, A or B, and then channel, or, cha or you've got channel name or frequency. So I'll leave it on channel. Memory channel, I think that's the one it's gonna show up when it turns on, I think. So we just put in zero one. I just put that in. I think that's what it's gonna do, zero, to uh, VFO shift, all that kind of stuff. FM preset. Yes, I tested DTMF, works fine. You can preset that as well, but I didn't do that. Memories file. You can import and export a CSV, CSV look. Let's go file, import. There it is there, the one we just saved. It's pretty good, so that's good to save things. And it's a CSV form. You can save as, so we go save. See if that's also a CSV or not. So we go desktop. Actually downloads. Save. Let's go file, open. See, that's a different type of file. That's, that's, that. I would say that's everything on the device. So when we exported, when we went file, export, you do export an actual CSV and I think that's handy because you could probably import a CSV with all your repeaters on once it's been made. Someone could send you that. File, edit, view, radio, download, upload, select band plan. Okay, so you can actually change the band plan. Look at all that. Does it America? Really, I should be Europe, shouldn't I? Region 1, Middle East, I'm not sure. Australia, ETC. So I'll play with that later. That's definitely worth knowing. Help, and then look, developer mode, what's that? Can we do more items when it's in developer node? mode? Load module from issue. I'm not going to touch any of that. About, that's chirp. So let's just go right to radio. Upload to radio, click OK. And let that finish, and I'm just going to let you know. I oh, know you can't see it. I'll show you. My, I'll add it to the end of the video if it is in. Actually, what I'll do is, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll just quickly go back to the radio and show you um, a couple of the memory channels and memory channel names on there. Bye for now. So here we are. Let's take off the lead. And it is blue and it actually looks really nice. I'll take the lead off. I will put the cover back on, but for now, look at this. That's a nice blue actually. Very pleased with that. Let's go back into memory mode. 
I'll just remind you, to go into to sort of memory mode, you have to turn it off, hold down menu. Frequency mode. That's frequency, or turn it off. It hasn't got the separate button that it used to have in the other Bofungs. Channel mode. Channel mode. And the channels are all there that I've programmed. Two, one. Let's see if we can get the name to display. Yeah, I found it here in settings. So when you're in settings up there, display mode A, B, look, you change it to name. So it does do it. And I'll send that to the radio. Sorry about the glare. I'm actually resending it to the radio without even putting the screw in. I'm just holding it. Okay, as soon as it reboots, take off that. And look. There it is. Two, one, zero, one, two, three. Very four. pleased with that. I mean, come on, it costs four pounds, and even if you got it for a tenner, uh, very pleased with that. Broadcast radio. The most important race of the season is in just a few hours. Uh, torch. I mean, I've got some really expensive radios here, but I've also got some really nice budget ones. That's Annie's charging. Virtually the same radio, if you ask me, the RT85, slightly smaller. I prefer I prefer the Bofunk, to be honest. I think it looks and feels nicer. But, they're, you know, they're all fun, these, these devices. You can listen to your radio. You listen to VHF, UHF. You've got a built-in torch. And, you know, some people say, well, why have so many radios? Because it's great fun. Why not? It's like a kid with toys. You know, the more you've got, the more fun you're going to have. And um, I do tend to keep them. So thanks for watching my channel. Just remember that really to have memory names, you do need to use software, but the software is free. There is Bofang software. I'll, I'll test it in a separate video, but I like the Chirp software. Bye for now. Catch you on now. All the best. Please remember to, uh, to like and subscribe. All the best.